All right, hey, it's Mega here. I'm doing a quick uh, how-to video on how to change the uh, the glass, the little uh, glass lens on the front of the Ion Air Pro 3. So I love the Ion Air Pro 3 camera. It's a great camera, and um, you know, and, but there's some stuff that wears out. Uh, one of them is like the USB port gets worn out after a while, or you know. Um, and the uh, and the lens uh, or the glass, the the lens protector, anyways. Um, so it's kind of hard to tell, but if you can see the light there, see there's some scratches there. Kind of like right around here. -ish, you know? I can run my fingernail over it, and I can feel it. So one thing about the ion cameras is that yeah they. They get scratch. The the lenses get scratched after a while, and you could notice it on the videos. There'll be like a little kind of a cloudy spot in the videos. So, so I actually emailed Ion about this a while ago, and they said that the it costs about thirty dollars to replace the glass lens. So, and then uh, and fairly recently I saw um, there's a dude there's a there's a seller on eBay called Camera Guys, and uh, they sold me well this I bought two of them for 30 bucks so it's like 15 each so I got it like half off compared to how much ion was gonna charge me so I jumped at it so and um, I don't know if uh, ion is selling them right now I don't know if you can um, you can get them uh, but uh but yeah so this is how it came to me it came to me in the pa actually bought three of them so there's two in here it just came to me wrapped in a paper and it said like they're they're not going to be selling them anymore or something like whatever they had on stock was was that it so um so uh so i'm going to go replace the lens today i'm going to show you how to do it i think it's pretty easy i've never done it myself actually so what i think you'll need all well, is your your ion camera and then the lens right here so this is what it looks like when you get it um i'm going to try not to touch the inside there it is can see some fingerprints in there so that's not good um, and a uh, microfiber cloth a clean one and some jeweler screwdrivers is what you're gonna need um, one of them in particular so and I think it's pretty a pretty straightforward uh, installs but this will be kind of like a vlog because uh, we'll be doing it together <laughs> but uh, but yeah so so yeah uh, the reason I bought these is a uh, um, I have a little foggy, there's like a little cloud in my videos when I shoot, I notice, and uh, I'm going to try to fix that, so, and uh, the lenses on the Ion Air Pro are pretty strong, um, I remember, uh, I think I've hit it a bunch of times, and they don't, they never, I've never had one shatter on me, I never had one crack, but, but they do get scratches, so, that's one thing, unfortunately, uh, they do do, and it's so big, such a big lens that yeah stuff is gonna hit it at some point um, so so let's get to it so first uh, let's uh, so make sure you wash your hands first I made sure I wash my hands uh, I washed some dishes before this and then go ahead and get a screwdriver out probably the smallest one you can find and then we'll just start uh, taking the screws out so I'm, I'm, what I'm guessing is that there is a um, there's this uh, the cover the like a little bracket here to hold the um, the lens in and there must be some kind of gasket in there because it's waterproof so just make sure you're in kind of a clean area you may, might want to clean your camera off a bit before if your camera's kind of dirty like if there's any kind of mud on it or anything can see some dust and stuff. Uh, if you got a can of um, air, or you can just blow on it like I just did. Let's try to get as much dust as you can out from the area, because uh, whatever dust gets stuck behind the lens, then you're going to be stuck with it. So, all right, I'm going to have to wind up doing it again. So go ahead and start taking the screws out. There's a um, one, two, three, four, five. There's six of them. And 
and the smallest screw uh, Phillips head screwdriver seems to do the trick and I see a lot of dirt coming out so it's okay to get dirt on the front of the lens because you can clean it later but but try not to get anything on the back of it and maybe I would just want to keep might want to just keep this old lens okay so there it goes it's free already let's go ahead and take that out it's uh, quite dirty back there so and then and there's this little thing here this little ring here and I guess you just kinda pull the pull it off oh okay oh wow there's sand in there yeah there's sand inside my my camera so and then uh, I guess uh, there's a little gasket here so you gotta save that gasket um, so what I want to do is clean clean up all that sand from the gasket first so to do that I'm gonna go use Le uh, camera lens cleaner duh or uh, yeah a little blower brush so let's go ahead and let's put this someplace where it won't get dirty first and then we'll take the gasket out so there's the gasket I guess you gotta peel it off from the lens it's pretty big too it's, it reminds you like a, a gasket for like a hose okay it looks pretty clean back there still so that's the old lens right there pretty much the same and then you probably want to clean this up as good as you can so I'm just gonna wipe off all this sand here I can't believe I mean my I've put many many miles on a ion camera so just want to get as much of it out as you can or something better to do would probably go wash it in the sink first <laughs> this is probably what I'm gonna do um, but so I'm gonna go wash this in the sink there's a there's a lot of dust um, sand in there I've been riding in the sand so I can't believe it got in there um, so I'm gonna go ahead and brush off as much dirt as possible from the lens There's a little blower too, and actually the blower works pretty damn good. The lens looks like it's in great shape. So yeah, I highly suggest you get one of these. I got these at, at Daiso for a dollar fifty. Um, you can probably get them uh, from little camera camera shops too. It's a pretty common, uh, pretty common photographer thing. So I'm just doing a little maintenance on the Ion Air Pro 3. Like I said, are you gonna try to get keep everything as clean as possible? feel that's good enough and then I'm gonna go to the bathroom and go ahead and I probably should have done that first <laughs> before I did that um, I'm gonna go ahead and wash this in the sink I just hopefully it'll get all the sand out of it ba -ba -da -ba! there it is I cleaned it not bad I just rinsed it in the sink for like five seconds and then, and then that was it so I'm just gonna have to wait for it to dry a bit and uh, and yeah so we'll just wait for it to dry um, I could probably dab it with a napkin or something. But... Actually, what I'll do is I'll hold it in front of the fan so it dries. I'm trying to get not get any kind of dust on it so none of the dust gets in the camera. Right. Okay, so I just held it in the fan for uh, about like 10 seconds. It's still a little bit wet, so we'll just wait a little bit. But in the meantime, we'll go get our new lens. Our new lens. And we will clean the inside as best we can. I, I thought I saw some fingerprints in there. It's probably hard to see in the camera, but just want to make sure the inside is clean as possible. The outside we don't care so much because we can clean that obviously on the outside. 
just wipe it with your microfiber cloth. Um, yeah, so wipe it with the cloth so you can get any kind of oils that are on there. Hopefully it's not scratching. I don't think it will scratch it. It's glass. So. Um, I think it's glass. And then go ahead and get your little blower and try to blow whatever dust fell in there. pretty clean so I'll go turn that down again and then what you might want to do is kind of clean what I'll do is kind of clean some of the dust off of this so you can see keeping your working environment clean is very important see this little ring is pretty beat up you might be able to buy a new one from ION I'm not sure I've taken quite a bit of spills with my ION camera and it's still running it takes quite a beating that's pretty good and uh, yeah so I mean now I want it kind of wound up being like a, a camera camera maintenance session here but while you're in there go ahead and uh, go ahead and clean your camera up like I said this camera is kind of old so put many miles on it So now that I've been kind of blowing some dust around, I feel like uh, I need to blow this again because all that dirt and stuff settled in there. And the most important part is you don't want to get anything on this lens. Okay. So all this is is just a protective cover. Water, not wanting to come out. Still see a little bit of dirt in there, but yeah, it's okay. But yeah, you always want to try to take as much particles as you can out of it because um, it can uh, it can affect the seal, and then your camera can get damaged by water or whatever. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and blow this one more time, just to make sure there's no dust in it. And we'll put the gasket back in. Hopefully we don't have any fingerprints on the inside. I still see fingerprints, but I think it's on the outside. Okay, so there's the gasket. And then you want to put your little ring thingy on. Looks like it only goes on a certain way. Yeah, I don't know. Unless I just got lucky. Yeah, there's so that it. There's only certain ways it'll go on. So, and then go ahead and put your lens back in. Your lens cover. Okay. And go ahead and put your cap back on. I guess I don't know if it makes a difference which way you put it in, but just try to line everything up somehow. Okay. Just go put. Looks like I got lucky and I found the holes. And I think, you know, the best thing to do to clean it all is just to wash it all in the sink. All the individual parts. Because uh, that's really what cleaned that 
So if you feel it not wanting to go in, back it out a little bit. So you're not so you don't cross thread it. What you don't want is to cross thread it. Okay. And maybe you want to tighten it in a kind of a star pattern, so we'll just do opposite sides, kind of like a car tire. So like it presses on the gasket evenly. Slowly, slowly. Okay, I want those. I just you kind of have to just feel for it. You don't have like a torque wrench or anything to tighten it, but you'll feel it bottom out at some point. Like there. There. Okay, that one's good. That one's good. Good. It's good. Okay, and then just for for good measure, just go around in clockwise motion. Give it a nice little snug tug. Doesn't have to be like super tight, but pretty tight. Nice and snug. Okay, there you go. All done. So I'm gonna want to wipe down the lens, the I mean the front. Maybe hopefully no dust got in there, but. Oh yeah, I kind of do see a little speck of dust in there. No way. <laughs> so I probably have to do this again, but yeah, I see a little speck of dust on the inside, so I'm probably going to want to take it apart again. And it just has to be like right in the middle where the lens is. So so I'll probably um, go ahead and do it one more time. But uh, but yeah, that's uh, you kind of get the gist of it. That's how you do it. And you, you want to make sure it's like super, super, super clean. Um, uh, yeah, cause uh, cause or else your videos are gonna be crappy. So, so there it is. So that's how you replace the uh, the front glass lens protector on a Ion Air Pro 3 camera. Um, just try to keep as much dirt as you can pos as possible. Um, you'll need like a small jeweler's Phillips screwdriver. Um, this blower thing helps a lot, and a clean microfiber cloth. So. Probably just gonna open it up and I'm just gonna blow that little speck of dust and then put it back together. So yeah. So yeah, if you do find a piece of dust in there, just just take it apart again, it's no big deal, and then just blow out the whatever got in there. And and like yeah. Alright, so just make sure you put everything back together properly so it has a nice good um, tight seal so uh, so water and dirt doesn't get in there. I can't believe I saw I found some some sand in there. Alright, these look out. Hope you learned something.